Hello, 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 and what is going on, everybody? It is Master of the TDS, and I'm back for another episode of Imaginalysis. Uh, we've got a lot, lot of stuff going on lately, so uh, forgive me if I'm a little frazzled, but welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, for coming and for, you know, giving us a chance. Imaginalysis is a segment where basically I put aside my prior knowledge of a character and analyze an image of them to try and see what the image tells me. As a therapist, I'm known to psychoanalyze, so I I would not not to toot my own horn, but I, I think I can do this pretty well. So today, uh, there's some news that came out, and based on that news, it gave me kind of exactly what I wanted to analyze. However, this image does have some text on it, so I'm going to ignore the text, but I picked the image because I think it's got the most information. So let's take a look at that. Our image analysis today is Obi-Wan from the Obi-Wan series coming out soon. So let's take a look at this image here. So we're going to ignore the text because again, I as I said, I think this image is probably the best one of the ones that came out that gives me the most to analyze. Uh, maybe later on in the future, we'll redo it with a better image. But for now, let's take a look at this. So uh, first thing that obviously gets my attention is the lightsaber. The way he's holding it very kind of stoic. The th other thing that I'm noticing here is that his hair now the weird part about this is, it obviously, from what from how he's dressed and everything, we can kind of interpret that he is meant to be, like, someone who's gone through hardship, kind of rugged. He's got that rugged, kind of scraggly look to him. But what throws me off a bit is the fact that you can look at the back of his hair. is very scraggly and gives off that kind of vibe, and so does his beard to some degree. But then you look up at his hair in front of his head, and you can see it's styled. Now... Again, keep in mind, you know, this is for a show and stuff, so it makes sense that it's styled. But based on this image, what this tells me is that this is more about an image rather than the image they're trying to portray. In a sense where they're obviously going for a certain kind of look, but they also are going for recognition, which makes sense. Uh, so they kind of made sure that the face looks like something relatable or something that people can, you know, recognize while keeping the look different. That's what I see there. Next part is what he's wearing. Now, he's wearing this kind of cloak, obviously. Uh, nothing really descriptive about it. Very plain. So there's not a lot to go on here. However, given that my wife and I are Orthodox Jewish, there actually is something to analyze here. And again, maybe not everybody would see this, but this is something that I've interpreted from it based on looking at it. As I said, he's wearing the brown like cloak over it, but he's wearing this kind of like almost like sack looking robe. And... In the Jewish religion, there is such a thing as when somebody is in mourning for people, they don sackcloth and ashes. Now, to me, given that I'm Jewish or whatever, looking at this, to me, it almost looks like he's wearing sackcloth. And again, keep in mind that you can look from the image, you can see that it's kind of sandy or whatever, so it makes sense that he's, again, the more rugged, kind of sandy look. But looking at this particular image and seeing that, to me, would indicate that this character is in some form of mourning. Now, his look in his eyes, however, is a bit of a more determined look. So, to me, based on this information, what it looks like to me is this guy's is like a someone who's endured a lot of hardship and is, but is mourning something. And obviously, given that we all know who this character is, it actually fits quite well. How this character will actually turn out to be in the show remains to be seen. But yeah, that's what I can gather from this. Again, uh, probably nothing new here, but I do think the information about the sackcloth is interesting. But yeah, I, that's pretty much all I have to analyze here. Uh, again, there's not a lot to do with this character yet. Uh, maybe that will change in the future. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm did a good job analyzing him? Let me know. If you guys have any characters that you would like me to psychoanalyze, leave their names in the comments below. Uh, keep in mind, I would like it to be characters that are not animated for now. I'm going to branch out possibly into animated characters later on, but I just want to start off with a couple, you know, more lifelike characters and lifelike being like, like live action and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all we have for this episode. Stay tuned for a Raven Raves later this week. Thank you again to all the new subscribers and the old. We recognize all of you. And yeah, 
that's all I have for today. Make sure to let us know what you think in the comments below, and also make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss your weekly therapy session or you will be charged. You can find links in the description to all of our social medias, as well as our Discord server, the clinic, and our merch store. And yeah, that's all I have for this week, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gothic Therapy, out.